coming up on In the Works. Find out how Dunedin High School's Academy of Architecture Design and Building Technologies is helping students draw up plans for their future. See what steps are needed to construct a career in building and make a connection that results in a job as an electrician. Stay with us because more In the Works is coming up. Hello and welcome to In the Works, a show that highlights the very best programs throughout Pinellas County that prepare students for career or college after graduation. I'm Marissa Allen. Each episode will highlight a different career academy, magnet program, or other opportunities for students in the district. Today we're featuring the Academy of Architecture Design and Building Technologies at Dunedin High School. <laughs> Dunedin High School's Academy of Architecture Design and Building Technologies was one of the school district's first ever centers of excellence. Students who complete the four-year program can earn certifications that will help them whether they choose to move on to college or a career after high school. <laughs> Students interested in a career in construction have a lot to be optimistic about. The industry is experiencing growth and at Dunedin High School's Academy of Architectural Design and Building Technologies, instructors make sure their graduates are prepared to find their niche in the field right away. All three programs in our academy are set up to either prepare students to go to the world of work or continue their experience in college, either becoming an engineer, architect, uh, electrical, uh, contracting, supervision. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I like how I can, how I come to school every day and it's preparing me for the real world. The Academy is made of architectural design, building technologies, and electrical technologies programs. All three branches work alongside one another, just like on a real job site, to complete projects like building a house. We are all tied together, like the architectural does the drawings, uh, which we showed with the second year where they did the Academy One Bedroom, One Bathroom Apartment. The construction department actually constructs it or builds it outside in our area and then the electrical department comes through and wires it. I kind of like a hands-on class like this, like I'm, I'm really glad I chose this class instead of maybe like maybe like art or something like this just because it's, it's like, I don't know, it gives you some trades in life that you'll always carry. Whether it's using a computer system to design a home or building one out back, each class within the program reinforces the same skills students will need for their career. I didn't really, I didn't like it the first semester, but then we started getting into the stuff with the computers, and I was just like, this is fabulous. I don't know why I didn't want to have to do this, because it's one of my favorite classes now. I'm in it two times a day. I like it a lot. It's like most people like gym or whatever, I like this class. The models are really fun. Like, there's a whole bunch of them scattered around the classroom. I'm not very good at them, but I'm getting better. My models my senior year are way better than my, my sophomore year I could have ever imagined. Instructors carry industry certifications and have the experience needed to guide and advise students. He's built houses and all kinds of stuff, so he shows us pictures and how he's framed everything up and like we're finishing up the house out there, so it's really cool. As part of the coursework for the program, students are able to earn certifications themselves. Architecture students can become CAD, or Computer Assisted Design Certified. It is the industry's standard software that professional architects use. Building and electrical technology students can work towards the National Center for Construction Education and Research Certification. It's built my confidence just because I, I, I know that I, if I go to a job and I have all the certifications behind me and I know that I'll actually, I'll actually know what I'm talking about and I'll have experience in the field. Students also showcase what they've learned at regional, state, and national skills USA competitions. Competing with other people, doing the same thing, kind of, I guess, makes you realize how good you're at it. Like, I walked in thinking, oh, I'm just kind of average, and then I did better than everyone else. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm a little better at this than I thought I was. Students come to the program for a variety of reasons. 
I liked the skateboard and I wanted to try to build some ramps and I was always thinking about trying to make my own skate park when I grow up or whatever so I thought this would help me like build ramps and learn how to do it. They stay because they know when they graduate they will be able to start work or college right away. If I go and apply at a job site I have very much confidence that I would actually get the job. My passion bled into them and now they're taking that passion a step further. It gives you more of an advantage over somebody else who wants that job if it's more of a hands-on building job. All three divisions housed within the Academy of Architecture are experiencing job growth. <laughs> Dunedin graduate Laura Bedron is on her way to becoming a certified architect. She currently works for the Bacon Group, one of the firms who shape curriculum for students and keep teachers up to date on what professionals in the field look for from the next generation of architects. She explains what helped her find her first job and has advice for current students. I was always kind of the artsy design kind of person, so I just wanted to go through high school with doing something I enjoyed and would get me ready for the field that I would want to be in. You can design things and then actually see them come to life. Working in groups is extremely important and transferable to the uh, to the, the work world, and they have to do more collaboration in a class like this. Um, they have may have a student project they're doing, um, and so that if they're able to uh, relate to other people and be part of that group and hold up their end of the uh, of of their responsibility within the group that's really important because that's what you do when you are in the real work world in architecture you're working with many other people and you're working as a collaboration well if somebody wants to become an architect they after high school they would have to go through either four year bachelor and the two year masters or a five year bachelors um, and then after that it takes two or three years, well, no, more three or five years of internship, and then you can get, um, start to get certified and accredited and get your license. A lot of these students um, uh, will be able to go on and if they're going to be working, you know, to help put themselves through college, that they have a job skill that is applicable to their career, you know, their, their educational, what they're trying to get education in. When um, we were in a position to hire uh, uh, intern architect, um, uh, draftsman, uh, I was happy to uh, interview people who came from this program because I was aware of the of the job skills that they had had and that was going to be applicable to our work. I did see that a former classmate of mine worked there, which drew me to apply there. <laughs> um, but just sending out my resume and cover letter, and I knew I wanted to be back in this area. We're a very small architecture firm. We're not a, a real big company. We only have about eight employees. Well, we have less than that now. We have uh, six. And three of them are products of Pinellas County Schools. I am a big believer in the, uh, the graduates of the, the programs that the Pinellas County School System has. I did learn a lot in this program, and it was a, it really was nice. I enjoyed it a lot while I was here. This will prepare you for the real world once you graduate. Laura is one of three Pinellas County Schools graduates who went through an architecture-focused academy and works for the Bacon Group. Now it's time to take a look at our career profile. Interested in becoming an architect? According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, there are 113,700 professional architects working in the United States. They earn about an average of $35 an hour. There is expected to be a growth rate of 24% in the architecture industry by the year 2020. How about becoming a general contractor? According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, there are 523,100 construction managers working in the United States. They earn about an average of $40 an hour. There is expected to be a growth of 17% in the construction manager field by the year 2020. If you are interested in becoming an electrician, listen up. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, there are 577,000 electricians working in the United States. They earn about an average of $23 an hour. There is expected to be a growth of 23% in the electrician field by the year 2020. 
That's all the time we have for this edition of In the Works. Don't forget, you can check out all of our episodes anytime online at newsroom.pcsb.org, or you can catch us on Pinellas County Schools TV station WPDS. I'm Marissa Allen. We'll see you next time.